number one. I'm not a big Hercules fan. I like Armadale's show and all that sort of stuff, but Herc never really did anything for me. So I was a bit hesitant when I went into this comic. Um, I know all of the backstory. Hercules has lost his powers. You know, he's not a god or anything like that anymore. So he's a normal man. But in this issue, he basically has all of the Olympian weapons. It, it's very God of Warish, except he's a normal person. It, it's actually really, really good. Um, Greg Pak does a terrific job at writing it. It has really nice artwork. This was a real surprise for me, and I suggest that everybody reads this. This is really, really good. If you like anything like uh, Planet Hulk or anything like that, that was written by Greg Pak as well. So you already know this guy's good. Check it out, this is worth it. Captain America The Fighting Avenger one-shot. This surprised me. I don't really like Captain America. I've never really been into the America rules sort of stuff. Maybe it's because I'm Australian. I don't know. But um, I gave this a go anyway. I figured I'd give it a go. It looks sort of goofy and kooky and stuff. And this is the artwork that's inside of it. And it really, really works. It feels like a cartoon. And it's just the humour that's in it, all that sort of stuff, works perfectly. It's basically the sort of the origins. It doesn't show Steve Rogers becoming Captain America or anything like that. He's not even called Captain America in it. Um, it's basically when he first joins up with the forces and all that sort of stuff, and they go in and the Red Skull turns into the Red Skull. It's actually... Uh, I wish it wasn't a one-shot, because I had a lot of fun reading this. This was a really, really good comic. If you want to know anything about Captain America or checking it out before the movie comes out, this is what you want to read. This is really good. As I said last time on the last show, free comic book day is coming up. On May 7th, Saturday, we are going to be having free comic book day 2011. Now, as most of you probably know, we always make a big deal out of all of these free comic book days. This year we're hoping to have a whole pile of new stuff as well. So, as well as the usual stuff, obviously, you get a free comic book. Uh, we have show bags, we have the Lucky Dip, we have all the basic things we usually have, as well as the costume competition at 2pm, an art competition that's going to run all day long. We're going to set up a table, you can draw whatever style you like, submit it on the day, and we will notify everybody on the show about exactly who won. And, of course, you get a prize. Uh, we're also trying to talk to the people at SCA to see if they can do a demo on the vacant block next door. And try and get a little bit of interest in that. And we're also going to have the sausage sizzle like we did last year. So, come on down, have a fun day, get your free comic, there's no purchase necessary, and let's just have a party. See you all, 7th of May. Konnichiwa! And welcome to Super Manga Fun Time Happy Show! Today's review is It's a Warabito by Yuki Inuma. It's a Warabito is extremely enjoyable. It's all is a very truthful child. He grows up in a village of orphans raised by monks. And um, because of the fact that he always tells the truth, he ends up causing a huge catastrophe. He decides that from then on he is going to lead his life telling lies. And he discovers that by telling lies he actually does some good in the world. So he decides to go out on the road and he's going to live his life telling lies. And he does actually help a lot of people by telling lies. It's really, really an excellent read so I'd recommend anybody to pick it up. Arigato on summer! Stay tuned next time for Super Manga Fun Happy Show! We have a winner! Congratulations go to John for guessing correctly on last show's What the Hell Is This? He's asked not to appear on the show, so everybody give him a nice big cyber clap and we'll jump straight into this show's competition. So, I'm asking again, what the hell is this? James Buchanan Barnes, otherwise known as Bucky, was originally created by writer Joe Simon and artist Jack Kirby for Captain America Comics No. 1 in 1941. Bucky was originally designed to be Captain America's sidekick slash teammate in World War II and helped Cap face off against the Red Skull. 
In late 1945, Bucky and Cap went to England and faced off against Baron Zemo. However, during the fight, the pair were knocked out and strapped to a plane. Managing to break loose, the pair tried to follow the craft to its destination, but only Bucky managed to get into it. Unable to get himself free of the plane, it exploded with Bucky still on board. After the war ended, a Russian submarine searching for the frozen Steve Rogers found the iced up Bucky instead, minus his left arm. He was revived and given a bionic arm, but his memories were gone. With the help of mental implants, the one-time American hero became an assassin for the Russians and was now known as the Winter Soldier. After some time, one of his assignments was to kill the Red Skull to stop him from using a cosmic cube. After retrieving the cube, Captain America showed up and after a brief fight managed to restore Bucky's memories. After finally ridding himself of all the mental implants, Bucky returned to New York after learning of his mentor's demise. Bucky took up the mantle of Captain America himself. Though he is far more aggressive, Bucky has furthered the crusade of Captain America, and once Steve Rogers came back to life, Bucky was told to continue being the new Captain America. As I said last time on the last show, free comic book day is coming up. On May 7th, Saturday, we are going to be having free comic book day 2011. Now, as most of you probably know, we always make a big deal out of all of these free comic book dates. This year we're hoping to have a whole pile of new stuff as well. So, as well as the usual stuff, obviously you get a free comic book, uh, we have show bags, we have the lucky dip, we have all the basic things we usually have, as well as the costume competition at 2pm, an art competition that's going to run all day long. We're going to set up a table, you can draw whatever style you like, submit it on the day, and we will notify everybody on the show about exactly who won. And of course you get a prize. Uh, we're also trying to talk to the people at SCA to see if they can do a demo on the vacant block next door. And try and get a little bit of interest in that. And we're also going to have the sausage sizzle like we did last year. So, come on down, have a fun day, get your free comic, there's no purchase necessary, and let's just have a party! See you all, 7th of May.